kids say the darndest things. One time, I was working with a group of fourth graders on adaptive Greek myth. The queen of the gods, Hera, was sick and tired of Echo all the time gossiping about everything. Yak, 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 blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. And so she cursed her. After that, Echo could only repeat what other people said to her, but she couldn't say anything that she'd thought of herself. Well, she ran into the woods, and she hadn't gone far before, at a little distance ahead of her, she spied Narcissus. Well, Narcissus was a gorgeous handsome specimen of a man. And Echo started to follow him. She had fallen madly in love and she wanted to declare her love, but she couldn't say anything because she could not initiate conversations. She could only repeat what other people had said to her. Well, she stepped on a twig and when it snapped, uh, she knew that Narcissus would turn around and embarrassed, she jumped behind a tree. Who's there? Who's there? Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Quit it. Quit it. I mean it. I mean it. Uh, Narcissus took off running, and he ran and ran and ran to get away from this voice that was following him when he came to a pool of water. He saw his own reflection. He was a very fine specimen of a man, and he fell in love with his own reflection. And he lay right there looking at himself until he wasted away. And Echo stood in the forest waiting for him to speak until she was nothing but a spirit and sometimes we hear her repeating what we say when we're out in the woods. I asked my fourth graders, could they adapt that to a 21st century setting? Once upon a time, there was a girl named Barbie. And she was all like a valley girl and just like talking all the time and just like blah, 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 blah. And her girlfriends were like, Barbie, you're driving us crazy. So she was out there on her surfboard like, whoo, cowabunga dude. And a big whale came up and whack slapped her. She couldn't speak valley talk anymore. All she could do was just speak whale language. Like she could only go totally weird. When all of a sudden she spied the most gorgeous man. His name was Ken. His body looked like it had been molded from plastic. And Barbie immediately fell madly in love, and she wanted to declare her love and devotion to Ken, but all she could do was say, Oh my word, you're so weird. And he took off running across the beach, and he ran up to the Malibu Barbie beach house. And when he ran past the pool, he saw his own reflection in the water, and he said, I'm gorgeous. And he tripped and fell into the pool and was drowned. Bum, 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 bum.